So here we are at Park City in Utah, Utah's answer to Aspen, a uh, very nice place. And um, unfortunately, I'm not a very happy lad. Why is that? Well, you can see Best Buy bags everywhere. Because uh, unfortunately, the trip has gone a bit wrong and my Mavic is playing up. So here I am with a new Mavic. The old Mavic uh, used to work fine until halfway through this trip. Turn it on and you can see the gimbal just does not sort itself out and then it gives up. No amount of uh, firmware resets or um, uh, upgrading the firmware has, uh, has fixed this and as I'm halfway through um, uh, a pretty major trip uh, wanting to do a lot of footage uh, we've got no real option except to buy a new one. And, uh, and then when I get back to the UK, I can sort out getting this one repaired. So, see, he's trying again. Swivel's fine in every direction, but uh, obviously something's gone wrong. So, um, there we are. Anyway, upwards and onwards, moving on, and um, see how we get on. So, third time lucky, eh? Lost one over Dover, broken a gimbal on holiday. Uh, now we have a new one from Park City. Um, anyway, what better place to try it out than uh, up here in the Rocky Mountains? So uh, let's see what we can do. Here we are on the Wyoming and Montana border at, at uh, Beartooth Pass. Um, pretty high elevation, 10,947. What's that? 11,000 feet. Um, I'm going to take my new Mavic for a spin and I reckon I'm going to get some pretty good footage because we are on top of the world here, or so it seems. So uh, let's see how it performs, eh? Pretty chilly 11,000 foot flight. Have to say, air is pretty thin, but um, Mavic did pretty well actually. I thought the battery would run out uh, really fast, but um, 
I had a good long flight there, some amazing scenery, uh, a lot of snow about, and um, pretty much the most awesome flight I've done so far, I think, so uh, all good going.